Okay, we're gonna talk about territoriality. Um, if there's one thing, one thing that you take out of all of these series of videos that we're putting out there, please let it be territoriality. Um, cougars are an amazing species. There's only one or two animals in all of North America that defend home ranges as vigorously as a cougar does. Um, we talk about the big five in, in Africa as being these incredible, amazing animals, and the leopard is part of that. Well, the leopard and the mountain lion actually occupy the same niche, but the cougar has 10 times the home range that it actually actively defends, and it takes down prey more than twice the size. And so cougars compared to leopards, in my opinion, there's no competition. Cougars are king. And so, they, like I said, they're highly territorial. A male will occupy about 150 square miles. And all he does is border patrol. It's really that simple. They'll go along edges, along rivers like we have here, mountaintops that you see behind me, might even be roads. But they use the same structures we do and they go mark those spots and that's communication to our other animals. If you come into my territory and you're a male, there's gonna be a fight and only one will come out. That's what territoriality is all about. Um, so that, like I said, males, 150 square miles, females, about 50 square miles. And they don't actively defend and fight, but they mutually avoid each other. And so if you were to look at a bunch of home ranges of females and males on the landscape, if it's males to males, they look like a whole bunch of jigsaw puzzle pieces that fit together. Females, exactly the same. But now if you combine the two, a typical male will overlap two to three females at one time. And those are the females that he's protecting that space for so that he can breed with those females and he can, you know, live in that space and eat the animals in that space. But very, very low density compared to other carnivores. And so territoriality is a big deal. So when they do come together to reproduce, that male overlaps two or three females, they're gonna produce young that belong to him. And so all of the females that are born, they'll stay fairly local. They may occupy a very small portion of mom's home range, but they generally stay fairly close. Males, on the other hand, they leave town. They relocate 100% of the time. And so on average, a typical male will travel about 150 airline miles away. And so we've had cougars leave Clay Ellum and go to the Columbia River. We've had cougars leave Okanagan and go to Yakima. We've had cougars leave Northeast Washington and go clear 100 miles into British Columbia. And of course, Oregon and Idaho, and it's amazing what these critters do, but that's, you know, that's how they avoid inbreeding, and that's what territoriality is all about. And so as they're moving out, others are moving in, and if it turns out to be a, a three-year-old male who's on his own and he found a territory that he likes, it either has to be unoccupied or he has to challenge the male for that space. And so, again, just an impressive animal.